So let's go live now to Representative Justin Pearson. Representative Jones, Representative Johnson, and myself are being expelled from the State House because we said we cannot do business as usual. No one should be wanting to operate as though this is not happening, as though we are not living in a gun violence epidemic in the state of Tennessee. And the solutions that are being offered is actually to reduce the First Amendment rights of people who speak up on behalf of their constituencies, who speak up on behalf of people who are tired of the guns, who are tired of seeing legislation being passed that lowers the age for you to carry. Tired of seeing legislation being passed that says you don't need a permit. Tired of legislation being passed that says if we give teachers guns, that's somehow going to fix the problem. People are tired of these non-real solutions to a real problem that we are suffering from. I've lost a classmate this year from gun violence. My mentor died last year from gun violence. We are dealing with a gun violence epidemic, and the resolution is not to, to silence the voices of people who send us here to the people's house to speak with them and for them. It is to make sure we do just legislation. It's to make sure we fight for red flag laws. We fight for good storage laws. We fight to make sure that this is a democracy and maintains its democratic principles. But that's what's being lost today. And so every Tennessean needs to be very concerned that we are not in a democracy. And across the United States of America, there has been no House members who have ever been expelled for exercising their First Amendment rights in a peaceful protest. This is a first in American history. And we are losing our democracy to white supremacy. We are losing our democracy to patriarchy. We are losing our democracy to people who want to keep a status quo that is damning to the rest of us and damning to our children and unborn people. It is no coincidence that the two youngest black lawmakers in the state of Tennessee and one or two women are on trial today. That is not accidental. This is what happens when you lose democracy. This is what we are fighting against and must stand up against as legislators and as people and as citizens across this country. Because it's starting in Tennessee, but it won't end here. How painful has this last week been to be a member of this body, instead of talking about the dead children, dead people, to be focused on maybe something that none of you expected before? No, it is painful to be a member of this body because of the silences that the members of this body take. The silence on gun reform, the silence on actually doing things that protect communities and make us safer, the silence about expanding health care access, the silence about doing things to ensure all children have equitable educational opportunities, the silence about the lynchings that are occurring in our state due to police brutality. We are tired of the silence that is going on in this place. And the reality is there are some people who are silent. They're dead. They're three nine-year-olds who will never serve in this General Assembly, who will never be able to march, who will never be able to protest, who will never be able to raise their voice about this issue. There are three folks, 60, 60, and 61, who are just going to work to serve children who are dead because someone with an assault rifle went into the school and shot 152 rounds. What reason does any reasonable person have to have an assault rifle? They're only intended to kill people and police officers. And yet, we have folks who are beholden to the NRA, folks who are beholden to gun lobbyists like the Tennessee Firearms Association, folks who don't care about the children that we've lost, don't care about the classmates we lost, don't care about the people in our communities that we lose every single day when we turn on the news because they rather support a status quo that kills us than do the work of justice of creating legislation that helps to save us. Justin, what would be your message to the Speaker of the House today? The Speaker of the House is leading an undemocratic institution he is leading a, a political lynching of people who have already been persecuted for being women, for being black, for being young, gifted, and talented. The Speaker of the House is a problem in the state of Tennessee, and he is not a, a, a dictator. He is not a god, as Representative Jones said. And yet that is the way that he is operating, and that needs to change. And the people of Tennessee have a responsibility, a moral responsibility to continue to come, continue to speak up, and to continue to fight to get just legislation to end gun violence in our state. And that's to push the speaker and every leader and everybody in the Republican Party who voted in a partisan way to expel the members of this legislature. After what happened to Representative Jones, do you have any belief that you will not be expelled later tonight? I do not have a belief that people can know that children are dying know that people in communities across this state are dying and they still choose to do nothing. They'd rather support the NRA. They'd rather call children who are 9 and 10 and 12 and 13 insurrectionists, saying that they, they, they're as violent as the folks on January 6th who killed police officers, who killed fellow Americans. They, they're calling children insurrectionists in the state of Tennessee because they don't want to see justice come here. And that's a problem. I, I have to head back in.